Is my soul at rest? Be at rest, my soul. In God alone is my soul at rest. Be at rest, my soul. We call it Good Friday or Holy Friday, the day Jesus dies and enters the womb of the earth. In the Gospel according to Mark, Jesus' last words on the cross are a prayer from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This prayer is the heart of this service with songs silences and prayers surrounding it. It's a brave thing to follow Psalm 22. It's a prayer of ancient Israel, one Jesus probably knew by heart. It's a lament of sadness and fear that helps us call on God when we're at the end of our rope. That experience is very present in our world, isn't it? Toward the end of Psalm 22, there's a surprising change in tone. The raw grief turns to honest trust and gratitude. In the spirit of Good Friday and authentic lament, we will follow Psalm 22 in its entirety, opening our voices and ears to one another in both heartbreak and hope. Tonight, Jesus invites us to be with him, present with the suffering of all the world. In our time together, we will call the role, if you will, of all who are in need, both near us and around the world. Together, let us begin with a few deep, slow breaths. Tonight, we pray with Jesus in solidarity with all who are troubled. We will sing the lament psalms full of both grief and trust. Let us begin. With our sisters and brothers and all creation, all who feel abandoned by God and humanity, let us pray. How long, O God, will you ignore us forever? How long will you hide your face? How long will we have terror and grief in our hearts and feel alone? How long will terrorists have the upper hand? Look at us, answer us, O God. O Holy One, we come together quietly on this Holy Friday. Together with Jesus, we pray for all creation and the many ways we are suffering. Be with us now, that around the cross, your people throughout the world might be renewed in depth of spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us in suffering. Amen. My God, oh my God, why? Why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, ignoring my anguished roars? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you don't answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned on the praise of all who know you and have struggled with you. Our ancestors trusted you, and you delivered them. They cried to you and were rescued. They trusted you and were not sorry they did. God, we pray for those in danger and for those living in fear of violence. 
in places near and far away. We pray for all who are trapped in patterns of hurt, physical abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse, and spiritual abuse. Hear us, O God, our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us in suffering. Amen. But I am a worm, less than human, a disgrace held in contempt by people. All who see me mock me. They shake their heads and make cruel fun of me, saying, Let this fool pray to God. Let God rescue this one that so delights God. Yet it was you who drew me out from the womb. You made me safe 
on my mother's breast. I've been yours since I was born. All my life, you have been my God. Let us pray for those who are suffering with illness or injury in places near and far away. We pray for all those who are restless, anxious, or hurting in physical body. Restless, anxious, or hurting in mind and restless, anxious, or hurting in spirit. Hear us, O God, our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us in suffering. Amen. Lord, listen to your children pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Lord, listen to your children Spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send Spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us Don't be far from me, God, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. Many bulls stalk me, strong bulls surround me. They open their mouths wide at me like ferocious, roaring lions. I am poured out like water and my bones have fallen apart. My heart is like wax melting in my chest. My mouth is dry like a piece of broken pottery. My tongue is stuck to my palate and you, you have laid me in the dust of death. For the dogs are closing in, a pack of evil encircling me, coming at my hands and my feet. I count the bones of my body while the beasts stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves, casting lots for them. Oh, holy one, don't Fail me now, my help, my strength. Come quickly to rescue me. Save my life from the battle, from these terrible and vicious dogs. Save me from the lion's mouth, my God. Oh, my God. Pilate brought Jesus outside and sat on the judge's bench at a place called the Stone Pavement, or in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the day of preparation for the Passover, and it was about noon. He said to the Jews, Here is your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate asked them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but the emperor. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, 
he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. There they crucified him and with him two others, one on either side with Jesus between them. Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and in Greek. Then the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write the King of the Jews, but this man said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who will get it. This was to fulfill what the scripture says. They divided my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. And this is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. My soul will live for God, and 
And everyone will stand in awe of God's love My children's children and their children will be in God's heart They will proclaim God's saving love They will proclaim God's saving love 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 And I see you rescue me. I see you rescue me. I see you rescue me. I will declare your name to my brothers and sisters and praise you publicly in the midst of our gathering. All you in awe of the holy, give your praise. All you from Jacob's family, give honor. Stand amazed, all you who know and have struggled with God. For the Holy One was not disgusted with the plight of those in need. God has not given up on us, but has heard our cries. God has not given up on us, but has heard our cries. God has not given up on us, but has heard our cries. God has not given up on us, but has heard our cries. My God, oh my God. We pray for all those at the mercy of oppressive systems, in places near and far away, we pray for all those treated unfairly because of race. Those treated unfairly because of their gender. Those treated unfairly because of their age. Those treated unfairly because of money or lack of it. those treated unfairly because of ability or disability, and those treated unfairly because of their sexual orientation. We pray for all who are dehumanized by unjust systems, both victim and violator. Hear us, O oh God, our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us in suffering. Amen. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak. Hear my cry, hear 
Because of you, my praise rises in the great congregation. I will fulfill my vows before those in awe of the holy. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Holy One shall lift their praises high. May we celebrate forever. We pray for those in deep sadness, anger, or grief, in places near and far away, for those suffering a loss, for those struggling with difficult emotions, for those dealing with powerful memories, and for all who are craving hope. Holy One, we pray for all those who are abandoned, for those unseen, unheard, or unrecognized, in places near and far away. We pray for all of us who are poor now, all who are lonely, all who are unemployed now, all who are in prison. We pray for all of us without a safe home, all who have no status in the eyes of society, and for all of us living without freedom. Hear us, O God, our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us in suffering. Amen. Oh, mm -hmm.
The far ends of the earth shall remember and turn to God. All the families of all the nations shall bow down. For God is like a king ruling the nations. Even the dead will bow down, even those of the dust and those at death's door. I shall live for that king. Our descendants will belong to God. The Holy One will be proclaimed for generations to come. Our children will tell the story to those yet unborn. God's love has rescued and saved us. My God, oh my God. Into your hands, O oh God, we commend our lives and all our cares. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song as I journey. I'll tell everybody about you wherever I go. You alone are our life and our peace and our love. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song. I journey. Lord Jesus, I'll praise you as long as I journey. May all of my joy be a faithful reflection of you. May the earth and the sea and the sky join my song. Lord Jesus, I'll praise you as long as I journey. As long as I live, Jesus, make me your servant to carry your cross and to share all your burdens and tears. For you Behold the life-giving cross on which was hung the Savior of the whole world. O oh, come, let us worship him. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Into
请出游。